Hey everybody, Mike Naso here from IPR with an evening update on Hurricane Dean briefly. You can see the imagery out there. Dean is becoming a very well-organized hurricane, already a very powerful hurricane up now towards about 100 miles an hour in a tight area. Even though it looks large, uh, it's actually a rather small hurricane with the worst weather right in this area. It's moving into the islands later tonight and early on Friday and then into the Caribbean. And uh, we'll talk about that. Also, by the way, heavy rains continuing in Texas from Aaron. Watch out there. Here's the latest as of 8 p.m. Eastern on Hurricane Dino's at 14.0, 57.8. Winds were 100 miles an hour, gusting to 115. It's a dangerous Category 2 hurricane. Still flying, and I mean flying to the west at 23. Pressure 979 millibars, although it's been as low as 970. So it's been fluctuating in the 970s. And those winds have just about caught up to it, about 100 miles an hour, maybe a little stronger, a little weaker. But it should be intensifying as it moves through the islands, which will make it seem worse than it actually is. So if you're in the islands watching or even in Puerto Rico, be on the lookout, although if the further north you are, the less likely you are to feel an impact until down the road. You can see the forecast by Saturday morning has it as a major hurricane, which is very likely, although it could even become one by tomorrow. And then uh, becoming a Category 4 hurricane by Sunday, very close to Jamaica, dangerously close. And then an even stronger hurricane of Category 4 before it hits the Yucatan Peninsula. And uh, could be even a Category 5. The upper-level winds are going to be extremely favorable. It's going to have a very dominant ridge of high pressure to the north of it, and that's what's pushing it right now. And that's going to build in even more to take this west... Uh, northwest track we saw and now as we see bending it back more towards the west with time and so if you are in the Yucatan Peninsula, the Cayman Islands, Jamaica, western Cuba be on the lookout because this hurricane is going to be a massive one probably on the lines of say Ivan, Gilbert, uh, Dennis uh, moving up in this area. If you remember Dennis passed between Jamaica, Haiti and Cuba as a category one hurricane and strengthening into a four the center stayed offshore, but it killed 80 people in the Dominican Republic because of the northern bands from the rainfall. So looking at how close this system is, we could have some t very torrential rains in those mountainous regions. Uh, from there, it should move into the Gulf of Mexico as a Category 2. It should weaken. Not sure how much it will. Uh, it could be as much as a tropical storm. It could be as little as still remaining a Cat 4 hurricane. But it will likely weaken as it moves into the Gulf of Mexico. You can see uh, the uh, hurricane position right now well to the northeast of Barbados heading towards the islands. We have hurricane warnings for Guadeloupe, Dominica, Martinique, and St. Lucia right in here. Tropical storm watches and warnings up further to the north and south. You can see the latest IR looking very impressive with the outflow expanding. And again, it's a rather tiny hurricane despite what it actually looks like. The worst of the weather, I mean, this is this is right here is where you're looking at the extent of the hurricane potential in here. All this down here is moot, although they did recently have a wind gust to near 60 miles an hour in St. Lucia, and that's as they're getting into these deeper convection bands. But right here is the meat of the problem. Now, I think the center will pass to the north of St. Lucia, but it's still too darn close. We just don't know yet how strong it may be there. You could get another look at it, what's going to happen as it moves through. It should move very, very close, if not over Martinique. Uh, the northern section of the eye will probably impact Dominica. So I'd say Martinique and Dominica are the uh, greatest threat, especially Martinique. If I were in Martinique, I'd be very, very concerned uh, of getting a direct hit by a strengthening Category 2 hurricane. Again, it could be in the process of potentially rapidly intensifying as it moves through. We don't see any indication of that yet, but it is strengthening, and it is already over 100 miles an hour. And so you're probably looking at, at an impact perhaps just as bad as Maryland in 95. So this is a very bad hurricane with Dean. You can see there's an upper level low here that's cutting off and moving west. And as that happens, Dean will have a ridge of high pressure to the north of it that will steer it straight through the Caribbean Sea towards the Yucatan Peninsula. From there, uh, it's still too early. It could very well head up towards, uh, say, the Texas-Mexico border, but it is still way too early to see if we'll see more of a northerly track towards Texas or if it'll just continue into Mexico. Still too early. If you're anywhere uh, where this hurricane is still moving in the general direction of, you're going to want to keep an eye on it. But right now, if you're in the Yucatan, uh, western Cuba, 
uh, say, the Texas coastline and northern Mexico, I'd be watching it most carefully as it looks like that will be the final destination. And keep in mind, remember Emily and Dennis, when they exited in the Gulf, they were only Category 1 hurricanes weakened by land, and they came right back up to 120, 140 miles an hour. So we could be dealing with a very serious storm. But yeah, Hurricane Dean, I'll tell you, very nasty hurricane indeed. I'm Mike Naso from IPR. I'll see you tomorrow morning as we should have a very intense hurricane having moved through the islands Martinique, Dominica, St. Lucia, heat of the impact, especially Martinique and Dominica. And I'd have to say Martinique looks like the place will probably see landfall as a very intense hurricane. So this is a dangerous storm. Stay tuned to Internet Partnership Radio.